Sam Darnold led his team to two wins at the end of the season last year to get his team to go now to the second pick. Maybe they gave him a little bit more future with the Jets, but that's obviously false. Now he's been traded to the Carolina Panthers for the Jets to probably take a quarterback at number two. What's your initial reaction to this trade? I'm going to start with Darian. Well, my initial reaction summed up in one word was, man, like this, re this really wasn't something that moved me, if we're going to be truthfully honest about it. When I look at it, I knew they were going to move on from him. They looked at Zach Wilson, all the mocks, everybody's been saying Zach Wilson is their guy. So it's really just a matter of time. So this wasn't something that surprised me. So it was no longer a if he was going to get moved, it was who he's going to get moved to. So now let's look at that aspect. He moved to the Carolina Panthers and man, again, because to me, this is just a lateral move. I'm not moved by it. I'm not like, oh yeah, this is really going to increase their, their win total by a wide margin. I don't feel like that. I feel like he might be a slight upgrade from Teddy Bridgewater, if that, because he allows them to throw the deep ball better. You know, Teddy Bridgewater struggled with that, and you got Robbie Anderson on your team. You're going to want somebody who can hit that ball a little bit better. Maybe even the chemistry between those two from New York could battle uh, or could be good for them. So when I look at it, I'm not that impressed. I look at Sam Darnold, and he's, got, he's the guy who clearly won this trade. I don't know about the Jets. They got rid of him. The Panthers, they got him. But he won because right now he has an opportunity for redemption. I look at it and I say, he has now hit the career restart. And he has two years, assuming that when May 3rd comes around, they pick up his fifth year option. He has two years to rewrite that narrative. And it's up to him. And you want to say something? I never felt like he was like that, personally. Because I think we would have seen more flashes of him in New York. And I understand he wasn't surrounded with quality coaching or talent but that's no longer the case here. I'm not saying they're the greatest show on turf, but Robbie Anderson and DJ Moore are a quality duo. And I'm not saying that you got Kyle Shanahan and Sean Payton, but Matt Rule and Joe Brady are going to be quality minds for you. So it's put up a shut up time for me. I don't see any more excuses. He has two years to show that he is a starting quarterback. And I know the clock's ticking, but that's the reason he got replaced because the clock was ticking. Yeah, I, I have to agree with you, Barry Darian. Um... For one, the Jets just can't seem to keep anybody who is decent or good for that matter. You know, they have a high turnover rate of everybody that comes through there. Um, and so for Sam Darnold, this was good that he does get to take his career elsewhere and try to rise above what he was, was working with um, with the Jets. I think when you look at it, they won a few games with Sam Darnold and they were win winless without him. Um, and so the Jets are likely to find a better quarterback again Sam Donald is just not that guy per se, but I think the Panthers are, they're at a, at a safe position, I would think, as far as it goes. Yeah, I know that um, the, the Jets wanted to get rid of Sam Donald, and obviously they've had their eyes on Zach Wilson from BYU. But my initial reaction was, we've seen the type of draft capital that you can get simply by moving down. And with the extreme run of quarterbacks that we're gonna have in this draft, we at least know four are probably going in the top 10 possibly five, I believe that the Jets um, could have moved down to maybe 12 and gotten three first round picks instead of trading Sam Darnold for basically nothing, um, especially this year, and then going all in on Zach Wilson. When I believe that, to me, even if you believe that Zach Wilson is a better prospect or a little better than Sam Darnold, the gap isn't big enough to not make that trade considering what you could have gotten. And you can still get a really great player at 12. You get two first round picks over the next two years and you continue to get young, really talented players that you could put around Sam Darnold. I think any quarterback that's came out in the first round, regardless of their talent level over the last couple of years, the ones that we see succeed are the ones that come into great situations. And it's really going to be tough. It's going to be really tough to argue that Sam Darnold has been put in the best uh, situation to succeed over the last three years. And he's still on his rookie contract. So I know that they were going to have to make a decision soon on his fifth year option. I think it's about 19 million for the season after this upcoming one. But still, that's relatively um, cheap when you see that Dak Prescott just went for 40 million if you have a, a quarterback counting for 19 million against your cap. So, I mean, you know, it remains to be seen on Zach Wilson. I think they're kind of mortgaging their future on him. You know, he had one good year at BYU. The scouts love him. Uh, but I honestly would have traded that pick, stocked up on a lot of draft capital. They already have the Seattle Seahawks first round picks over the next two years. You get another team's first round picks over the next two years, and you have six, seven first round picks to really build around Sam Darnold, who I think has an immense amount of talent. Um, he just hasn't been put in the right situation to succeed. Like Mia said, over the last three years, the Jets are 0-10 when he doesn't play. So I think that that shows that, you know, he's a positive. He's a net positive when he's on the field. So that's just my initial reaction that, you know, it's obvious the Jets are mortgaging their future on 
Zach Wilson. I just don't think that was the right move. <clears throat> and I would like to say one thing to that. I do, I do feel like keeping Sam Darnold would have been kind of good for the immediate, but I do think the fact that Zach Wilson essentially would have been on his rookie contract for five as opposed to two probably played a big part in Joe Douglas. And he said the fact that they were at two was a big part of moving on from Sam Darnold. It would have been interesting because I do trust the new head coach. I do trust Salah to build a good culture in New York. I think he was the best uh, coach on the market this year. So I do trust him to build around Zach Wilson, even though he didn't get those plethora of picks that he could have got for trading number two. They do have a second first round pick and a high second. So I think they may be able to build there. And before we move on, I just want to touch on Teddy Bridgewater just real quick. I would like to see him get traded somewhere like Denver, as long as the money works out, because Denver doesn't seem too satisfied with you a lot, maybe has a question. I would like to see him traded somewhere where, especially with the cap hit he has, where he has a chance to start. Not saying it's a guarantee, because he's not guaranteed to start in Denver, but I wouldn't want him to go somewhere where he's guaranteed to be a backup. And I don't think anybody would pay that price tag for him to play that role either. Now to keep shout it on the, out. oh, go right. ahead, John, go ahead. I, I was going to say real quick, shout out to Sam Donald for landing on his feet. I mean, he's still relatively yeah. young, but typically when you see teams move on from quarterbacks like this, they don't land um, just immediately in starting roles. And then not only starting roles, but Darian talked about the weapons they have earlier. So, um, you know, now I talked about, he hasn't been put in that position to succeed, but like Darian said, it's put up or shut up. Uh, he has great weapons around him. And I think another thing that needs to be, be discussed here is the Panthers still have the number eight pick. And while, yes, John spoke, up, spoke about it a couple um, minutes ago was that there's going to be a runoff of quarterbacks. And there's a possibility. I think there's about four or five good quarterbacks in this draft. There's a possibility one of those falls to eight. Now, I know that they just got Sam Darnold. I know that he has a chance to prove himself with these weapons. Do you still take a quarterback in this draft, be it there are so many quality quarterbacks in this draft and you don't want to wait for two years when Sam Darnold is, isn't the answer. Do you still take a quarterback, maybe a Justin Fields, maybe a Mac Jones, maybe a, a Trey Lance that's still going to be there? Do you take a quarterback right there, Abe? Uh, I want to say two things to answer your question. One, no. Uh, two, I'm, I, I just want to take a second to appreciate the fact that you said there might be five good quarterbacks in here. And I know that one of the five is Mac Jones. I've never heard you talk about him even close to saying he was good. So shout out to you. I was really going to talk. I'm just saying <laughs> others' opinions, you know, Oh, no, the Panthers might like Mac Jones. You know what I'm saying? You try to get somebody a little bit of credit. They say they don't want it. But anyway, neither here nor there. But when I look at it, no, I'm not drafting the quarterback because with that attitude, I feel like you're almost already giving up on Sam Darnold. And I feel like they, they're talking about picking up his option. To me, that says that you believe in him. If you mm -hmm. ask me what I would do at eight, you have weapons. You, when you have a quarterback, you want to have weapons. You want to have protection. And like I said, you have a good wide receiver duo. You have one of the best running backs in the league in the backfield. Now, tied in is a question, and there's a good chance that Pitts couldn't fall there. But I think because I have those other weapons on the edges and in the backfield, I'm going to go with Rashawn Slater out of Northwestern because I think Sewell might be gone, and I'm going to have a guy who has the versatility to be either my tackle on the other side of Taylor Moten, uh, who, who they just franchised, or he can slide in at guard and he has that versatility. So I like him at, a, at, excuse me, I like him at eight, Rashawn Slater out of Northwestern. I think uh, the Panthers are, they, they pretty much set the tone that they want to run with Sam Darnold, but they're also in a position where they could draft a quarterback fairly. Um, I also think that they're in a position where they could address some pieces on defense um, and, and take it that route. They don't necessarily have to address quarterback right now. Yeah, I think that, uh, I mean, I completely agree with Darian. Obviously, they've made an investment in uh Sam Darnold, and so I would uh, look at the offense um, and putting pieces around him, either Panay Sewell or Kyle Pitts um, at that eight spot, but definitely not drafting a quarterback, especially when you're, you're at eight, you're assuming at least four quarterbacks um, are going to go before that. So you really don't even get your pick of the litter. Um, and so I, I think say roll with Sam Darnold. Yeah, and I don't have much else. I just want to say that was a great point by, by uh, Mia to just say the cornerback maybe or defense. I thought that was a, a fantastic point. Uh, you're at the place where you can get the top corner or whatever corner that you want at eight. I thought that was a great point you made. Definitely going to be interesting to watch. I feel like Rule's going to get his pick at quarterback. I still have a feeling he's going to take that quarterback if it falls, maybe a Trey Lance. I feel like he's falling in love with one of them, seeing the stuff he's done in the past. But we'll definitely see you tell us in the comment section what you think will transpire on draft night. Definitely have already seen a lot of trades already going on when it comes to the draft night. So we'll see. We'll see y'all next time. SOS discussion.